welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you this week. We have a breakfast casserole full of good food, protein, potatoes, all the favorite breakfast foods. We've got a lunch that is clean as clean can be, full of protein, but is vegetarian. There's no actual meat in our lunch. Now, of course, you could add meat, chicken, whatever to you would like for your bowl, but the breakfast and lunch are amazing. And for a snack or a sweet treat this week, I have a clean eating healthy version of zucchini bread. You heard me right, zucchini bread. That's WW friendly, clean eating, healthy, and let me just tell you how delicious it is. So without further ado, let's jump right into this week's meal prep. breakfast this week I'm going to be making an egg casserole this is a super clean recipe filling delicious cannot wait you're gonna get a little bit of a starch your protein from your eggs and your turkey so excited so let me show you what's in our breakfast first you're going to need some sweet potatoes minced garlic coconut milk you could probably sub almond milk if you didn't have canned coconut milk on hand of course you're going to need some eggs an onion bell pepper, salt and pepper, and the recipe calls for Italian sausage. I could not find it anywhere. With everything going on, meat is pretty scarce in my area. So I just grabbed this ground chicken and I'm just going to season this up to make it like a sausage. And I'm gonna be using the Dax Italian Blast. This is a great seasoning to make a sausage type of flavor dupe. I love Dax because it's all clean all natural, no salt, great before weigh-in, great if you watch your salt, just overall a fantastic seasoning, really, really nice, clean ingredients, no MSG, love these. So Italian Blast is really, really good. It's got a little bit of a kick, so it's perfect to make that sausage taste and texture in any type of meat that you're adding it. Super excited about using this to make the sausage. If you're interested in Dax, I do have 10% off. I'll put that code here on the screen for you. They're a great small business. Great to support them during this time. And seriously, you guys, over 20 spices. Every single one is outstanding. So definitely check out Dax. So let's get started on this week's breakfast. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is do some chopping. So I've washed my sweet potatoes. I measured these out on my food scale. This is 600 grams. I am not going to peel mine. I don't mind having the skin on my sweet potatoes. So you can peel yours if you'd like, but we're gonna chop those up, put those in a bowl. We're gonna chop up a bell pepper and an onion, put that in a bowl, and then we're ready to start our casserole. I've been on my spaceship counting stars since 94. Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door Looking for someone who'd be the Venus to my Mars Why does love always have to be this hard? Got me feeling like so we need to get our potatoes cooked. So I have a baking sheet here lined with some foil. To that, I'm going to go ahead and add my sweet potatoes. And I do have my oven preheating to 425. And we're gonna go ahead and just cook these potatoes for about 13 to 15 minutes until we can pierce them with a fork. Before they go into the oven, we're gonna go ahead and add just a tiny bit of avocado oil. I like to just drizzle my potatoes. So literally a teaspoon of avocado oil or any type of oil. And then I just take my hands and kind of mix everything up. That way the potatoes all get a little bit of oil and it really saves you on having to use a large amount of oil and take a big point hit. So now all my potatoes have a little oil on them. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. <laughs> All right, so we're getting these in the oven at 425, and while these are cooking, we'll start putting together the rest of our casserole. So I went ahead and added my turkey to a skillet. I just sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm gonna go ahead and get this broken up, and then we'll go ahead and season that with the Dax Italian Blast. And we're gonna let this cook down just like you would if you were using a sausage. And we're just gonna season it ourselves and make our own sausage because we have to improvise. 
with what we're buying right now. All right, I've got my chicken broken up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my Dax. And like I said, this does have a little bit of a kick. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon into my chicken, stir it up, and we're gonna let this continue cooking until this fully cooked through. I went ahead and added a big scoop of garlic, and I'm going to add in those chopped up onions and peppers. And we're gonna let those cook down with the chicken. It'll save us a step. They'll get nice and tender. And then we're ready to put this casserole into our baking dish, and by then, potatoes should be done, and we are moving on. All right, so turkey is cooked through, onions, peppers are softened. Just pulled these gorgeous sweet potatoes out of my oven. So what we're going to do next is we're gonna go ahead and scoop up the potatoes and add them to the turkey mixture. Just give them a good stir, get them nice and combined, and then we'll be ready to add that mixture into a baking dish and prepare our eggs, and then this is going to go back in the oven. So make sure you do not turn your oven off when you pull out your potatoes. All right, so I've got my nine by 13 baking dish. I'm gonna give it just a quick spray with some nonstick cooking spray, and of course I'm using my Chosen Foods Avocado. And then look at how beautiful this is. Look at that, yum. We're gonna go ahead and add that mixture to the bottom of the baking dish. Give it a quick spread out. And then we've gotta to mix together the egg portion. And we're just gonna put that right on top. This is going to be so hearty and filling. I can't wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. Let's mix together the eggs. All right, now we're gonna do our eggs. So I have six eggs here. We're gonna go ahead and crack those into the bowl. And then we're going to mix that with this delicious coconut cream from the Thrive Market. Now, if you guys are new to my channel or you haven't joined the Thrive Market, it's amazing. It's the best place for any type of good whole food. I find it to be at least 30%. Oh, look at all these shells. Way to go, Jen. Um, I find it to be at least 30% less expensive than anywhere locally. So I generally do a Thrive order every couple of weeks or so, or whenever I'm running low on my Thrive staples. There is a link down in the description box that will get you $20 worth of free product when you join the Thrive market. So highly, highly recommend. Thrive is seriously such a fantastic market. And again, super duper affordable. So I have my six eggs. To that, I'm gonna add that one half of a cup of that delicious coconut cream. I'm also going to add a big pinch of pepper because I like a lot of salt and pepper in my eggs and a big pinch of salt. And then we're just going to whisk this together until everything is nice and combined. So once you've got your eggs all mixed together, we're just gonna pour that right over the top of the sausage and potatoes. And I'm gonna just give it a quick mix. We wanna make sure everything is combined as the eggs is what is going to form this into a casserole. It's what's going to make it actual pieces that we can cut. So we wanna make sure that our eggs are mixed nice and good in with that sausage and those potatoes. You guys, I'm telling you, this looks incredible. I'm so excited and how yummy and filling. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this with some foil. We're gonna pop this back in our 420 degree oven for about 15 minutes. We'll uncover and cook for an additional 15 minutes. Look at how amazing this looks. We got a little mountain for me here with the egg, but doesn't this look so delicious, you guys? So good. So I'm going to let this rest for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to cut mine into six servings and I'm going to pair this with some organic blueberries and that's going to be breakfast. So I will be back to show you the completed meal prep for breakfast, give you a couple of different options for the smart points. All right, my friends, here is meal prep. So I have five meals prepped, an additional slice for my husband. He'll definitely love this. But look at the size of this slice. Look at how amazing that looks it fills the entire large side of my meal prep container and then i just bagged up some fresh blueberries that way i can remove the blueberries when i go to warm up the egg casserole so let's go over the smart points for six servings and then i'll give you a smart point option if you want to make it a little less large of a serving so one sixth of the recipe like i have here is going to be five smart points on both blue and purple and seven on green because you have to count for the egg now, if you decided to cut this into 10 servings, so it would be a little less, I would say maybe like that size of the casserole, then it would be three smart points on both blue and purple and five on green. 
this is my breakfast so i decided to go with the larger serving and take the five smart points which i don't think is bad at all for this but i will put both of these options with the recipe on my website so this is breakfast lunches this week I'm going to be making a clean eating chickpea basil quinoa bowl I've been wanting quinoa I love quinoa and I didn't have any on the purple plan when I did that for two weeks what was wrong with me it is zero points on purple but I am now back on the quinoa bandwagon so I'm going to make a bowl now this is a vegetarian lunch you could certainly add protein of your choice to it. I may pair this with maybe some hard boiled eggs or a couple slices of turkey. I'm not entirely sure yet, but the main portion of my lunch is going to be this quinoa bowl. So let me show you what's in our lunch. So first you're going of course to need some quinoa. I'm going to cook the quinoa in stock. It just gives it a lot more flavor. You'll need some balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, chickpeas, and some fresh basil. That's it, super easy. So let's get started on lunch. All right, so the first thing I have going here is one and a half cups of dry quinoa and three cups of chicken broth. We're gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil, reduce the heat, pop a lid on it and let it cook. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and drain and rinse our chickpeas and slice up our basil. Okay, no judging my sink. I've been meal prepping all morning. So I have my strainer here and of course my can of chickpeas. I just dumped the entire can into my strainer, give it a quick rinse off just to make sure that I'm getting any any of the goodies that I don't want on the chickpeas off and then we're just gonna go ahead and set these aside and chop our basil so for our basil we want about a half of a cup finely chopped basil now you probably could use dried but I just think the fresh basil is going to give it such a better flavor and you guys know basil is like my very favorite I love it on everything speaking of basil i found a really new fun way to have basil and i actually heard about this on stephanie at holy crap i'm fat channel and she puts basil in her salad you guys game changer chop a little basil up add it in with your greens oh it's delish so i'm going to go ahead and get this chopped up and set aside for when the quinoa is done all right, let's put together these quinoa chickpea bowls. So I have my can of drained chickpeas. Here is my quinoa, it is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that directly here to my chickpeas. Now this recipe makes four servings. So this is going to be quite a large bowl. That's why I wasn't sure if I actually would add any protein or if I would just stick with the quinoa and chickpeas. So once your balsamic is added in, we're going to go ahead and stir this all together. And that's our quinoa bowl. I mean, it's that simple, but it is clean eating, nutritious, full of nutrients. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. Good source of protein because quinoa is a nice, complete protein. So we're going to mix this all together. This is only four servings. I'll get it into my bowls for my meal prep. And I'll be back to show you the completed lunch and give you all the smart points. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger A willing and able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker so here is our completed lunch. This is a lot. I definitely don't think I'm gonna add anything to it. I will probably pair this with some fruit for zero smart points, but this is a lot and super filling with the quinoa and the chickpeas. So the points on this bowl for four servings is five smart points on the blue plan, seven on the green, because you do have to count for the chickpeas on the green plan. And guess what guys, one point on purple, because the only thing you have to count points for on the purple plan is the balsamic. Oh, my hard boiled eggs are done. So that is lunch. And for me, this is five smart points. I will make sure I list all of the points on my website, which is where you'll find this recipe. For a snack this week or a sweet treat, we're going to be making a healthy, clean version of zucchini bread. I can't wait for this. My husband's actually been asking for a few weeks for zucchini bread, so I did a little research, found this recipe, did a little tweaking, and voila, my friends, we have a WW-friendly, healthy zucchini bread. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some almond milk or nut milk of your choice. Flour, this is just the Thrive Whole Wheat Organic Flour some coconut sugar, 
unsweetened applesauce. I'm using Dax pumpkin pie in place of nutmeg. You guys know I love their pumpkin spice. This is my favorite seasoning from Dax hands down. I always have it on hand year round. Again, you guys have the code for Dax. I'll put it again here on the screen for you. 10% off free shipping. Fantastic rest, fantastic seasonings, fantastic ingredients. Love. So Dax pumpkin spice. And then I'm also going to pump it up with a little extra cinnamon, vanilla extract, baking soda, salt. I have some walnuts here from Nutstop. Now, Nutstop also gave me a link for 10% off. It's not an affiliate link. It's simply 10% off for you. I'll put that here on the screen, and it is down in the description box. Love Nutstop. We'll also need some zucchini as well as some eggs. So let's get started on our zucchini bread. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and grate up our zucchini. I started with two. I may need more. I need about a cup and a half of grated zucchini. Now I like my zucchini really, really small. So I'm actually going to use my zester. I just like the pieces a little bit smaller in my bread. So I have a paper plate here. It's just the easiest way to grate the zucchini. So I simply chop off the ends slice it in half and then I'm just going to take my zester here and I'm just going to zest it until I have one and a half cups which is going to take a while but hey it's a good workout for your arms. I'm a stranger a willing and able to do what you want you think I'm a thinker but I'm just a singer a busy and pretty just making believe. All right so to start our bread, super simple, we're going to need a large bowl. To that bowl, I have one and three quarter cup of whole wheat flour. You could use all-purpose flour. Use whatever you have on hand, but this is the organic wheat flour. I need a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm just going to eyeball that. Don't be like me if you would rather measure, but there's about a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to add in my Dax pumpkin spice. It calls for a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, but I want a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna really put in about a teaspoon of the Dax. And then I'm also going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon and it does actually call for a teaspoon of cinnamon. So that way we're really just punching up the flavor of our zucchini bread. I like it to have a little bit of spice to the bread. It's my favorite. So there's about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to put in a pinch of salt. We want just a little tiny bit to enhance the flavor. And last but not least, I have one half of a cup of my coconut sugar. And so we're going to go ahead and combine all of our dry ingredients. I am going to grab a new medium sized bowl to combine the wet ingredients. All right, so in a smaller slash medium sized bowl, we're going to go ahead and crack two eggs and we're going to basically put together the wet ingredients and then we'll add that to that big teal bowl of our dry ingredients. So we have two eggs. We have one third cup of applesauce that was in replacement of the coconut sugar or coconut oil in the recipe to help save on points. I also have one quarter cup of that simply almond milk. And then I'm going to put in the tiniest dash of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. Go ahead, mix that together, get everything nice and combined, and then we'll be ready to add this into our dry ingredients. All right, so we have our dry ingredients. We have our wet ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of the wet into our dry ingredients. And I'm going to give that just kind of a quick stir. We want to combine it just until it's combined. It'll be a really thick batter it's because the zucchini is going to really help moisten that up and thin out that batter. So give it a quick stir till everything's nice and combined. Once your batter is combined, we're going to go ahead and add in one half of a cup of chopped walnuts. And we're going to add in all of this delicious zucchini, which is going to make our bread so moist and delicious. Again, we're going to give this another quick stir. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and grab out a bread pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and we'll add this delicious mixture to our pan. So we're ready to put the mixture into our pan. I sprayed it with just the avocado oil that I always use. And we're going to go ahead and add the mixture kind of tap your pan on your counter to get your mixture as even as possible so it bakes a nice even loaf. And then this is going into the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes or until we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. Okay. 
So our zucchini bread is out of the oven. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm going to let this cool for just a few minutes before I pull it out of the pan, slice it up, and I'll be back to show you our completed zucchini bread and give you the smart points. All right. So I went ahead and cut my zucchini bread into 12 equal servings. So this is a good size slice of zucchini bread. Look at that. Yum. And look at how moist and delicious. It is super, super moist it is so good i'm about to have a piece i tried a little bit you guys it is fantastic it tastes like full fat high point zucchini bread must make recipe and the zucchini bread is five smart points per slice when cut into 12 servings on all plants you guys you can't beat that this big slice of zucchini bread five points Are my snack options for the week so I did pick up some more cottage cheese you guys know I'm obsessed one of my favorite ways to eat my cottage cheese is to dip crackers in it so this is the Mary's gone crackers and basil and garlic got these off of the thrive market you guys know I'm obsessed don't forget about the link down below for $20 worth of free product when you join the thrive market for one year membership highly recommend so i like to dip a couple points worth of those into a serving of cottage cheese this is generally a five smart point snack for me three for the cottage cheese and two for the crackers i also found these as you saw um or you will see i should say in my what i eat today on wednesday i picked up these lara bar minis i had quite a fun target haul on wednesday so you guys will have to stay tuned for that these are the cashew cookie and the apple pie. This is the size of them. Now, I will say they're small. Like, literally, they are that big. But they're 100 calories. They're full of fantastic ingredients. Like, literally, it's dates, almonds, apples, walnuts, raisins, and cinnamon. The Lara Bar Minis are four points. So if you want a sweet dessert, this is a great option for a dessert for only four points. I mean, they're small, yes but it's really good clean whole ingredient so i have the cashew cookie and the apple pie bar so four points for that and then of course the built bar this has been a go-to dessert for me um you're going to see a fun way to eat these in my what i eat on wednesday so you definitely want to check that video out but i do have the coconut almond which is very reminiscent of an almond joy literally tastes like an almond joy all of the built bars are three smart points with the exception of the nut based bars and with the exception of the coconut almond. The coconut almond is still three smart points, but all of the nut-based bars like peanut butter, peanut butter brownie, toffee almond, those are all four points. But look at the protein punch. 20 grams of protein, seven fiber, seven fat. I love the nut-based bars. They keep me super, super full. So when I'm needing something to sustain me for quite a while, like between meals or pre or post workout, I generally reach for the nut-based. If I just want a snack, I'm craving something sweet, but want a little bit of protein. I do also like just the regular three smart point OG built bars. So my code for built bar is here on the screen. It actually gets you 10% off and free shipping. If you're new to built bar, there's a special link in the description box for you to get you $10 off your first order, which is a killer deal that makes these bars less than a dollar a piece, which you can't beat that. And they literally taste like a candy bar. So all that information is down in the description box. So I have three or four points for built bar four points for my Lara Bar Minis and about five points for my crackers and cottage cheese. So these are my snacks for the week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Meal Prep. Weren't those recipes outstanding? I'm so excited for all of my food throughout this week. I can't wait to dig in. Of course, all of these recipes will be on my website. The link to my website is down in the description box along with the links to my favorite things, my discount codes, and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of the now 15,000 member strong. It's a wonderful, great, supportive place to be, so head on over and join us there. If you're new, welcome. I do a meal prep every single Monday. I do upload most days of the week, so make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and the bell located right next to the button so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. Thumbs up this one if you're here for the meal prep. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear from you guys. Which of these recipes are you most excited about? Thank you for hanging out with me today. Happy Monday, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.